Purpose of the study The purpose of a research study is to systematically investigate a specific problem or question using a structured methodology. The ultimate goal of research is to generate new knowledge or expand existing knowledge by answering a question, solving a problem, or contributing to a particular field or discipline. Some common purposes of research include 1. To describe a phenomenon or situation, this involves providing a detailed account of a particular situation or event, such as the characteristics of a particular group of people, the prevalence of a particular disease, or the outcomes of a particular intervention. 2. To explain the causes of a phenomenon, this involves identifying the underlying factors or variables that contribute to a particular phenomenon, such as the risk factors for a particular disease or the determinants of a particular behavior. 3. To predict future outcomes, this involves using current data to make predictions about future trends or events, such as forecasting future population growth or predicting the likelihood of a particular event occurring. 4. To evaluate interventions or programs, this involves assessing the effectiveness of a particular intervention or program in achieving its intended goals, such as evaluating the impact of a new drug therapy or a public health campaign. Overall, the purpose of a research study is to provide a rigorous and systematic approach to understanding and improving the world around us. When the problem area has been selected and its theoretical framework determined, the third step is to state the purpose, objective and significance of the study. As stated earlier research is always undertaken in response to a problem. Accordingly, the purpose of the study is always to understand better the factors affecting the problem and to test one or more possible solutions of the problem. It may be emphasized here that the purpose of the study and the objectives of the study are not necessarily the same. What is the effect of the use of primary teaching kit on the cognitive development of primary school children? The purpose of the study is to determine whether the use of the primary teaching kit helps in fostering the objective of the study of primary school children. However, the objective of the study is to determine whether or not to continue the use of the primary teaching kit or whether any changes need to be made in its components. Reported temper tantrums and bed soiling by children of middle class Educated urban mothers impelled the researcher to undertake the study referred to in PARA 3.1. The purpose of the study, in case of one, is to determine whether the mode of feeding, breast versus bottle, prevalent among middle class, educated urban families has an effect on the temper tantrums displayed by children. The objective of the study is to recommend discontinuation of that mode of feeding which causes greater temper tantrums among children. Related to purpose and objective of the study is the question of significance of the study. The researcher should indicate how the answer to the question or the solution to the problem can influence educational theory or practice. The undertaking of the proposed research study would be justified if the implications or possible applications of the finding of the research are properly formulated and presented. Thus, if the research studies on student achievement and socioeconomic level of parents, listed in PAN 3.1, indicate that it is the educationally stimulating home environment and the educational level of parents that is more important in the academic achievement of students, the educational institutions shall have to seriously review their educational programmers and activities to compensate for the deficiencies in home. Environment of Disadvantaged Groups Functions of the Objective Section of a Research Proposal R is under A. Proposing To propose the goals or ends which the researcher intends to achieve as a result of the proposed inquiry. Justifying To justify the selection of the objectives which are chosen by explicating the criteria employed in making the choice and by showing how the objectives meet the criteria. Common deficiencies in choosing and posing objectives R is under A letting the reader lay down objectives. These are the objectives which add no new knowledge to the one already known. b. The free-floating objectives. This is very common case in the studies which are not carefully thought out. It means the objectives which have no relationship with the study in hand. 
A common example is when a neophyte researcher while planning a survey of a small village writes in his objectives that it will be helpful in planning the national policies, etc. C. Objectives without criteria, unless the objectives are evolved from the theoretical framework and conform to the criteria laid down for the relationship to be established amongst a set of variables, they cannot be accepted as legitimate objectives of the study. For example, in the study of bed soiling, the criteria laid down for such action of the parents which are accepted as relevant for toilet training behavior, have to be followed for development of the objectives also. The objectives should not be outside these criteria, as they should be part of a whole and not outside the theoretical rationale.